What? Hey, tell Leo to spell attic whilst looking down his top. All love. A soda stream is my dream. Big up, Bailey. Look down your top. And spell attic. Ain't that A-T-T-I-C? <laughs> I get it. What? A titty I see. <laughs> 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 check check we <Wee> oi <laughs> yes we're well, going are, are we in we're on we're recording we're out chatterbox zoop 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 zoop. Hey. zoop zoop welcome back yes I was actually excited about today's episode you know why I don't know I, actually... I made the tea though alright whatever is it how many sugars a lump one. I know you got a sweet tooth. One. A tablespoon. A what spoon? A tablespoon. As in like a, what you'd eat soup with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. That's not how you... It's sip a, it and see if you like it. A teaspoon. I just sip it and see. It's not about if I like it because because it, it's extra sweet. Maybe it's going to be like, oh, this is like a dessert. Oh. But that's not how you're meant to have tea. Boy. That's a tablespoon. Nah. It's a special. This is a special chatterbox, you know. No, nah, I don't like it. I don't like it. It's too much. This is a, it's, it's a I didn't put a. I, I hope you know I didn't put like a mountain on top of the tea. I'm yeah, just, but I just used a uh, tablespoon. Your eye, you, you cut it by eye. No, I used a tablespoon. Yeah, yeah, but why didn't you use a teaspoon? There wasn't none. There was. You know, you know when you open the drawer. You know when you go yeah. in the drawer, there's not one. You got. I was looking for a plastic. You know, like the kids yeah, yeah, one. I was looking yeah, yeah. for all the alternatives. You could have got one out of the dishwasher. And the only thing there was was a tablespoon. So yeah, that's so where you we're cut at. the eight ball by eye. Yeah. <sighs> so. I got no coffee. Because you've got knife. I would have much rather the coffee. You want to taste my coffee? No. Uh, Why for that? Anyway, no diddy. <laughs> Already? Oh my God. What's going on? What is going on? Are we going to wait to the end for this car? If, I, if I've got a tea and there's a cake. That's then... the whole point of making the tea and the coffee. All right, so go on. Let's, let's, do this now. let's start with this. All right, cool. Yeah, then, look, I'll move the plate. We had to drive an extra half an hour for this, you know. Hold on, pause. What? No, we didn't. We did. I had to. I had to drive. You sat in a You had to seat. because you made the mistake. So, Undecided Cakes and Cocktails. Come like Paige. Our number one sponsor of this show right now. Didn't yeah, they? she's showing mad love. Like, yeah. she would come home from work yesterday and she made a cake specifically for Bailey. Imagine that. What am I? I might decide on. What am I, the second cousin on this show? I'm a. I'm, uh, Leo's life matters. Just saying. Anyway, Bailey, have a look at your. Um... So can I just also clarify here uh, that since we've been on this diet, this is what the second or third time you've turned up with cake. Oh. Do you know that? Yeah. That's... We are aware of this, right? Okay. Okay. Just so that we are we are both aware. It's, it's a heavy. We can give the cake away. It's well, how are you going to give a cake away? We've got tea. Oh my God, it's a big cake. Can't even show it. Yeah, you can, the box on flaps. Fucking hell. Boy, you You asked for a Victoria sponge, she said, and a Victoria sponge she baked. All right. Do you know what the peak thing is, right? When you come to my house earlier, yeah, and you saw there was one of these on the side. Yeah. That's been there for a week because Kyra brought a Victoria sponge home. And well, I was like, gonna, I'm not eating that. We have to at least taste a slice. I've, I'm going to eat this because it was made specifically for no, me. No, because we drove an hour. <laughs> and, and I drove an hour for it. But, like, Paige, know that you're messing up my diet with all these delicious cakes you keep making. Big man, do you not think it's more advice? More, big man, I don't like that. You're, you're pushing pressure down with a knife towards my hand. How much of a slice do you want? Me? Yeah, you don't want someone. You've got two plates. Don't act like... Uh, yeah, I want a skinny side. Don't act like... <laughs> you didn't want a side. Because you bought the coffee uh, and the tea. Yeah, I want a skinny slice. What, like this? No, that's... I want a skinny slice. What, like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a taster. Yeah, I have to taste it. So, I've, I guess you're sitting there wondering, why? what's the relevance about this? So, Undecided Cakes and Cocktails. What I need you to do, subscribers, is... I need you to go over onto the Instagram... Go and find Undecided Cakes and Cocktails. Follow, like, share, and be in for a chance for your own cake to be made. Or should it be yeah. the cake? Or should it be the cake pops? 
What? Because you said... Um, them cake pops are delicious. I ain't tried this yet. All right. But anyway, you're going to win... On courteous of Chatterbox, us... Well, well Bailey's got to pay this time. because I. No, 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 no. Don't come in with your competitions and tell me I've got to pay. Don't do that. Where's the forks, big man? Where's the spoons? Why are you being tight for? I'm a tight guy. Yeah, don't be tight. So anyway, anyway, Bailey's going to pay for a cake. Or cake pops. It's or... the good cream. What? Pause. <laughs> that is pause. <laughs> pause. <laughs> anyway... what they're hearing especially oh. with you I have to limit your mic when I edit you know why can hear your breathing your digesting every time why is it every time I come on this uh, show there's be a shade it's not shade why is it though there's no shade you're always throwing shade Mm-mm. but you know who should have thrown shade and I haven't looked but I know you looked the comments I only looked at a couple of them. Yeah. So if you watched the last episode, we did ask the people to comment in this video. Feel free to get onto. Feel free to cuss us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I saved it. Yeah, no diddy for that one. Diddy. Feel free to cuss us. No holds bars. Say what you want. We'll read them out. Whoever makes us laugh or whoever we think was the most creative or I don't know. There's <coughs> not really. We'll get the soda stream. Uh, retail value at two hundred pounds from yours truly, Bailey. That's my contribution. So the next one's def- next free is on you. Just so that you know. You don't want to play this game, man. It's dangerous. So let me dig up something here. That that just leaves me like ten down the line. Five hundred and twenty-four subscribers. Come on. Oh yeah, that was the mark. That was the goal as well to hit five hundred subscribers. So thank you, everyone who subscribed. Welcome to the family. Well, welcome to the. What are we calling this? What's our people? Our people just like real talk. No, no, yeah, but what, you know, like everyone's got their their clang. They're called something. Or oh, like gang gang. Like we, we, you're on the right track, but yeah, right. You see the show that you like. The rated R. Yeah. Their people are called their ratings. Big up all my ratings. Okay. All right. So what's our people called? Get thinking then. You're younger than me. Nah, but oh, are, you, are you Gen Z? No. What, what are you? you? Big up, though. That like, you think I'm in that, that land. I'm an old man. What are you, millennium? Am I a millennium? I'm, I was born in the 80s, bro. Oh, you're Gen, you're, so you're Gen X like me then? No, no, no. I, I, I was born eighty nine. I, I was raised in the nineties. Then, oh, so sorry, you might be a sorry, sorry. You might be a millennium. Then. What's the nineties kids called? Any millenniums? Ain't that two thousand? Oh, well, I don't know what. Let, let me know. I, I'm, I'm, let I'm in the nineties. What is he? Cool. So, the world's full of division now, but most of it is brought up upon themselves. Uh, though making these things an issue makes it stand out, therefore creates a division. Because these things are only an issue when people make it one. What's that in referring to? Oh, the transgender stuff. Yeah. Okay, so a lot of stuff might be. Did we get cancelled, by the way? Did we get any shade? No. Why cool. should we? Cause I don't know. Cause remember, I said I don't know how much we can speak on this topic. Do you want to know why? why? Because what I'm starting to realise with the people that, that our demographic, if you want to say, of who... So we only right. haven't got cancelled because the right people ain't seen it yet? No. Or the wrong people ain't seen no, it yet? No, I think that they understand that these type of real conversations are supposed to happen. Mm. We're not out here, I'm not, we're not out here gunning them. We're just having our opinion. Yeah. I yeah. feel like a lot of people are... are yeah, but your opinion can be enough to get I'll you cancelled these what? days. Yeah, but... Well, well, then I guess our subscribers are real then, isn't it? They, mm-hmm. they, 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 big up all my real... Big up all my real ones. Real, that, rec- real ones. Is that my, my real ones? That's what they're called. The right, real cool. ones. Big up all my and real ones. Real recognizes real. Real recognizes real. Mm. Uh, yes. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome to the real world. Ooh. Yeah. I like that one. All right. Cool. cool. Bro, I said, bro, the earth is flat. I'm not even li- listening to you. No, no, no. Pause. What, what do you mean? What? What? I'm not doing this. I'm all not. Right. I'm not on episode. All right, cool. However many episodes deep now. Bailey is stuck in the matrix. Man said he can see the curve at the, <laughs> at the beach, but a trained pilot that flies straight is a liar. 
And I'll say it with my chest as well. I'm sure. I went on Google and I was looking and I, I got I just switched off because the pictures were too small. I was like, nah, I need to stand there and see the Keep horizon. So all you know. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Oh. <laughs> right. Ooh. Can we talk about the front print on Bailey's head or Leo's knees? Yeah, it's supposed knees? to be a thumb print. It's supposed to be a thumb print. Oh, well. You, in, in trying to diss me, you've spelled something incorrectly. So we're off to a good start. Can we talk about the front print, aka the thumb print, on Bailey's head or Leo's knees under the what? Permanent trauma. Oh, Leo. Or Bailey's pooed himself because he didn't do his chores properly. <laughs> <laughs> Leo, the world's flat. You're you're green and Bailey is nine foot tall and oxygen and gravity is weed and coke. Mm. <laughs> he said a lot, man. <laughs> he had a go. He had a go. He had a go. He had a go. He, a go. he had a go. go What's his name? Um, Karika. Karika is world. Okay, we give up though. He went in. He went in. He went in. He went in. Uh, one housewife and man with mash up toes. Huh? One housewife and a man with mash up toes. Clown foot Flintstone toes. Bailey, your hair looks like follow the drip. Oh, uh, do you know what that is? No. Follow the drip. No. You don't remember um, uh, uh, House Party? No, remember yeah. Kid and Play? Well, kid and Play, yeah. yeah you say you got, I got a jerry curl. <laughs> but there's nothing even in my hair right now, bro. <laughs> nothing but water. I showered and didn't even put nothing in my hair. That's said you got a lot of juice in your hair. They ain't nothing in my hair. I got, I got some beard oil in. <laughs> I got some beard oil in, but they ain't coming in my hair. All right, cool. Um, God, this is smothering my coffee. You want some more? No, I, no. Go and finish your cake, man. You, got, you jumped on the scales today. You was, what, what was you, 126? 126! So treat yourself. Out here. What? Hey, tell Leo to spell attic whilst looking down his top. All love. A soda stream is my dream. Big up Bailey. Look down your top. And spell attic. In a A-T-T-I-C. <laughs> I get it. What? A titty I see. Hey. <laughs> 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 I knew it had to be exactly like that. Hey, <laughs> hey. That one was inventive. Hey, school. cheeky chops. Right now, the soda stream is yours unless someone can top that. <laughs> oh, how did I see that? You know what that reminded me of? You know, that, remember The Simpsons when Bart, Bart Elise used to call Mo? No. What? No. When did you grow up? I didn't really like The Simpsons. You didn't like The Simpsons? Mm, Put it on the floor, man. You're, you're trying too hard. Are you going to eat yours? I've, I've eaten. I've, no, I'm trying... I will eat some. Just cause Paige is watching. Got Paige. My mum's in there boxing it off right now. I know that. You should make a tea as well. Probably. My auntie Julie's in there as well. You know what they're like when they see a Victoria sponge. No, nah, but it was good though. Good cake. Right. No, no more. No right, more where cake. Where we at? No. no more cake. I agree that if a child hasn't even hit puberty, why would you want to confuse up that child's head? If my mum was one of those open parents that we have today, I'd be Rocky Balboa right now. Kiss my teeth. Some them. Can convince anyone to do anything that age, man. Mm. If you deep it, your women telling you what to do or putting up a list solely to tell you what to do is low-key not acceptable because she, cause she basically controls you. Do you see the narrative that you... Why is your eyebrows high like that? Just the saying. list is not for me. There's not even nothing on that list no more. You saw it today. I'm just It's Kyra saying. Kyra thinking about what needs to be done around the house <sighs> and writing it on a scholar list. It ain't for me. You know what I mean? But I hear you. I hear you. Uh are we are we are we are we, are we reading out all of the um You know when Bailey said about the kids he went to school with are gay? Now I'll tell you slightly one of them. What? First of all, just to address that, I never used to go around like, well, maybe I did, but it was different back then. Do you know what I mean? Go on, explain. Like saying like, oh, you're gay, you're gay. You, can't, you, can't, you don't say that now. 
But let's not pretend that back in the day, we weren't all doing that. Do you think that there's still a stigma around gay? No, being gay? that's the thing. It's not, it's not anymore. It's way more... Wa- no, I think it's... I think, I'm I not think even talking actually, about their generation. I'm talking about our generations. I think our generation, a lot of people would still... Like the people that went through life pretending not to be... No, but I feel like they're coming out now because I feel like uh, being gay is trendy now. What's happened to your mic? I guess, I guess, yeah. The thing just goes. It's cool, man. No, it's I not. I can see the levels on. No, the... it's not. You don't do the edits. You don't know the dramas I go through when your levels are dropping. All of this, and it's because your mic's look. Your mic's on your grin, big man. <laughs> mic's listening to your bed. <laughs> no. That ain't what Is we that want. more shade again? No, it's true. We need better equipment, Leo. We need investment. I need to still buy the damn mic. We, we need to be doing shout outs for mics, not cakes. We need a new mic on the set. Mic stands. How much are microphones? These are 100 pounds each. Big man, mind the thing that will conk me in my Yeah, head but head. I'm putting it higher because I know it's going to drop. <sighs> that, there's no way this is dropping. Now. If it drops, it's something. Look, yeah. that's how it should be. Well, I feel like this is all up in my. Yeah, but it's going to drop at some point. I see it happening. <laughs> That one there's weak. I feel like we're beefing. <laughs> you're in the microphone. We're <laughs> beefing right now. Like, what? What? <laughs> it does look a bit high now still. Look, the way that went down so easy, that shouldn't happen. You shouldn't be able to move like that. Don't worry. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna get... I'll tell you what. When we get to a thousand subs... You're going to buy new we're equipment? We're going to invest into some equipment. Okay. We... Huh? I've already done I'm going to invest into some equipment. All right, thank you. Yeah, what was we saying? I think I think people of our age, mm. right? For example, yeah. I think so many people who spent their life pretending not to be, it'll be hard. Pause. It'll be difficult for them to come out now. Are you talking about people that are gay? Yeah. Yeah, but I still feel like our generations still. It's not even slightly because even when I go to certain events, uh-uh. they will play certain tunes that are banned. Yeah. You know, like a bashment event, let's say. Yeah. And I'll be looking around like, oh, what the hell much people in here are actually gay but now feel offended by this tune but they mm. just dance along to it just because the majority in here are still that anti-way. Do you mm. know what I mean? Like, Because you know yourself, Jamaicans, they don't they don't pit to... to That's crazy. To tell to mm. tell you about yourself, but so, but but then rightly so. Nor do Africans. But are... that's the thing. I think the I think a lot of Jamaican people who've grown up in that culture, who are gay, sh- sh- st- struggle st- still struggle yeah. to come out now. Yeah. Whereas if you flip it now and you look at Tay's generation and them generations, yeah, they don't give a flying. F- I think that the new generation is is way more acceptable. In, in fact, I think it's almost like trending. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Different life, man. Different life. Live your life. Be what? Who's that? Someone at the door. Can't be flat. America had a total eclipse today. <sighs> yes. Do you think if it was flat, the whole world would have seen it? I didn't see it. Oh, perfect. Yeah, it's true. What? The eclipse happened. I didn't see it. There's, there's videos of it. It's Did not... you see it? Yeah, I saw videos of it. Like I said, it happened in America. It can't happen. Oh, wait, did this person does this person think that because the world is round, mm. not everybody gets to see the world the, the eclipse? Yeah, that's one hundred percent. Is that it? Yeah, is that what they think? That's true. It's not what they think. That's true. Like if the next eclipse is gonna happen, that's real scientific, though, isn't it? The next eclipse that's gonna happen, you would have to be in a specific country. To, what is mum doing? Am I the only one listening to that? No, she's mocking it now. <laughs> this is what happens when you share studio yeah. space. Mm-mm. So much shit talk, you should change the name to Shitterbox. Shatterbox. Shatterbox. Hey, this one's actually quite funny. What? <laughs> Who's it on, me or you? It says Leo. I knew it. Leo model his feet for cigarette packs. <laughs> <laughs> I did see that one, you know. <laughs> and still, it's making me chuckle. I could just imagine my big toe on there. You wouldn't smoke. You would not smoke if you saw that. If you saw my toe right now, you wouldn't smoke. <laughs> I swear to God, you wouldn't. 
Oh, uh, no, Antibody has got this channel rebranding to Shatterbox before it even goes viral. What's this Shatterbox is going Because we keep talking about sh- fucking shit. shit. Yeah. Stop the shit talk. Leo, get rid of Bailey. Why? You know what I find funny about that one, yeah? Richard We're reading Hernandez. in the same order. And I skipped that one a couple ago and he's gone back up just to make sure he throws that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 to... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I need to understand why, but you're not asking him though. Why? Yeah, why would you? Because you wanted to get rid of me. That's why. Yeah. So, go respect for that. Yeah, Maybe okay. we'll do an episode where you take and sit in for me one them. You can lecture him for an hour. Hey, you ain't going bored, but your corners are definitely pushing. Turn to the side. Yeah, they are. Are they pushing? Do you know what's go and finish the sentence? They've gone in quite a bit here. Look like Andy Robinson and Trent Alexander. Do you know who that is? Mm-hmm. Trent Alexander Arnold on the counter attack. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I wish I knew who these people were. Because it All looks right. like it cut you. Yeah, no, no. It didn't cut you. It's not cut me, you know what it is. I've never really had good corners. That's the thing. So I know I'm not my corners aren't pushing. I've just always had abnormal corners. Yeah, I've always had like not one side's but I think one side's better than the other, isn't it? Yeah. Which side is it better than the other? The right is better than This the one's left. better than that? No. This one's better than that? Yeah. So I I was about to say I'm, they must be looking at my bad side, but they're looking at even my good side. Is bad. Yeah, but if I if I get a trim, it looks different. But when I let my hair grow out, because it gets curly, yeah, starts doing a mazzle. Trust me though, however whoever you are, one day it's gonna be you. So don't throw stones. Your whole side of your thing is under pressure. Alopecia in your beard. Yeah, but as long as... Like, I'd just hate if I just like going bored from here first. Because that's the worst one. Have you ever had your hair low, low, low to know whether bald would suit you? Yeah. Does it suit you? I've skinned my head, yeah. It did suit me. No, it, said it suited me. I don't remember you having a skin head. I can show you a photo of me right now having a skin head. You want to see? Yeah, let me see. All right, wait there. Because you know bald, yeah? Yeah. My phone my bridgings. Bear my bridges, that the, 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 that's one of the things that a man worries about, you know, is going bald and their head shape is egged. My phone's dead. You're in control of the comments now. Their head shape is egged. Yeah, no, I looked good bald. I look, I, I won't go like everyone thought I was, um, well, do you know what? I feel like everyone kind of assumes I'm anyway. I just, this was before like everyone, I I everyone was Muslim. Say, oh. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were going to say like Rio Ferdinand or somebody. No, I just look, I look like a, a really well, Pra- a good practice in Muslim because of your head shape no when I had a bald head and I had a little oh. facial hair I love hearing your opinions on the talk of today the things you spoke about are the things I've been watching about I love that real talk thanks guys you're welcome I have no jokes just give me the sodas <laughs> just give me the soda thing the man <laughs> <laughs> People actually want the soda stream, innit? Yeah. Do you know what I'm slightly thinking? Do I want it? Oh, now you're doing that same thing. Um, that's what my dad, no, that's what my dad would do. Yeah, all right, cool. But it's been sitting up there. In, it's not even out of the box. Like, not, not the box that it comes in. Yeah. It's in a delivery box. It's not even out of the delivery box. Uh, as a Muslim, I have to give a shout out to my bro. Feeding orphans is one of the best things you can do in Islam. You know, I only posted a picture of this. I've been back a little while and I only posted my pictures of that of, of that whole day last night. Mm. And you know, it's so humbling. Like, when I look back at the photos and I looked at the and the, the kids' faces and I, and I remember the adults coming and shaking our hands and they was in amazement that we would do such a thing. And I'm like, if more people was like that, if we, if more people just took the time out, if, it doesn't have to be a big gesture. Like we didn't spend thousands of pounds, but it was the thought that counted. Do mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like these orphans, they have no parents. They they live in a home with no nothing. Do you know what I mean? And we just thought if we could just do our our, our little thing, and we wasn't even thinking about Ramadan or or any blessings back. I wasn't thinking about none of that. I didn't know that. Was that was that was in. Tanzania, they was they Muslim? Yeah, so in Tanzania it's Muslim and Christian, but these the the the, 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 the place that we went to there was Muslim, it was a Muslim uh. Muslim community, and um, so that's why we bought the gown out of uh. respect because it was like a. It was, it, I thought I was going to the orphanage where I could just kick football with them and ramp with them, kick some um, 
have some jokes and whatever. But mm. it was actually a breaking of their fast. You know, like they fast during the day. Mm. There was a big like it was like some festival. I don't know. There was politicians there and whatever. Mm. It was like a, it was like a big thing. Like they mm. they rented a hall. But yeah. Like my, the, what I say, I say all that to say this. If you can do something, why not? What made you think calculators? Because I obviously I asked them what kind of things would they want, like and what 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 are they, what are they struggling in having? Mm. Do you know what I mean? And uh, things like calculators, rubbers, pencils, exercise books, things, things that, that we, we take for granted. What we take for granted is expensive for them. Do you remember I told you that these people they, 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 their wage in Tanzania is like three pound a day. No, I'm just I'm just like stuck on the idea like how spoiled we was car if people come over and gave me that i'd be like what am i doing with this but to so them it to was them big and when i saw their faces like up or when i saw even saw the adults when the adults looked in the suitcase when we opened the suitcases and the adults saw the things they're all trying to take some for their offices mm. like because we had we had extra left over because we didn't know that it was 10 houses so we had like 11 piles or 12 piles so the adults asked us, can we take this? Because we do, we have an office where we do administration and they're mm. struggling for stationery. The pencils, just the bag of pencils that we bought alone mm. was like gold to them. So will you send, keep sending stuff? Um, With that in mind, like how, how easy would it be for you to go on Amazon and order like a hundred pencils to Tanzania? Easy. Easy. That's but, what I mean. But I feel like for me, for me, I, I'm, I'm, it's not, it's not, not, not a country that I'm not going to go back to, so I will carry on trying to do my bit every time I go mm. or with the connections that I have over there. Like, I'm going back over there, uh, May. Mm. And yesterday I was having a conversation. Are you flying first class again? Uh, what? <laughs> well, I'm flying back first class. I'm, not, I'm flying economy there. <laughs> That's just part of the deal. Now, you know why? Why did you pause that? I'll tell you why. <laughs> because I'm not meant to be part no, 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 no. <laughs> like, take I, away. I didn't pause. I didn't pause because of that. I paused because I'm thinking how much it's going to cost me <laughs> when I could have just come back economy. Yeah. But the reason why I didn't come back economy is because I got an hour, eight hour stopover in Doha mm. and I need the business lounge in my life. It's just convenient. Okay. So the restaurant, the food, by the time I spend in Doha, yeah. I would have spent that ticket money. Okay. Do you know what I mean? And the I reason feel like why I slum it way more than you know, I would have just slept in the airport, put my suitcase on the floor, and laid my head on it. Have you flown business cars before? Never. Yeah. When I introduced actually, I might have. You know, when I went to Thailand. When I introduced you to that life. Or if it weren't business cars, it was just a really nice plane. And by the way, I don't do this Instagram what? flexing. My bridging, yeah. God bless him, yeah. allowed me a, a discount on my flight. Do you know what I mean? So that's the only reason why we can even be to having this conversation about business class. Because mm. I would not be spending free. How much is a flight to Tanzania economy? And how much the, how much difference is it to go business? Just normally. With no discount. Just normally. So economy would probably be about 300, 380 pounds. That's it? Yeah. To fly there. Yeah. And then to fly back, you might catch one at 300 pounds. So mm. about 600, 700 pounds in total, there mm. and back. To do it business there and back would probably cost you about six grand. Bro. Normally. For the same flight, but just a better seat. Normally, yeah. For three grand there, two, 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 eight there, two, eight. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah you'll never catch me there. So, but Unless I got a bridge in that. Now, let me, no, wait, but now let me make you not understand. I'm not out here for stunting on no gram. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you're spending six grand on your flight, My whole ticket cost me 1,700 pounds. You know what I mean? 1,700 pounds. My flight cost me. There and back. There and back. And it's my birthday. Oh. So I spoiled my... I spoiled... I, I, that word. <laughs> do you understand me? Oh. Just, just, just to put it into perspective. But yeah, man, if you can do something... The whole moral to it is if you can do something, just, just even if it's a little thing, just try and there's people that's less fortunate than you and things that we take for granted. That, you know, that Primark and things over there, like, is big. Is it them, like t-shirts? Like, my mum loves Primark. Yeah. If, if her Prime, birthday, if you get her Primark, Primark voucher, she's like, she loves that. She, she said she loves. They're that. like she get excited like to go. Oh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the big Primark on Tottenham Court Road. Yeah, or so where's this other big one they're talking about? 
It's the biggest one, Manchester or something like that. I don't know. I'm like, it's just Primark. Yeah. Just because it's got four floors, it don't make it different, does it? Yeah, I'm telling you, if mm. the floor was flat, if the earth was flat, how can you see a rainbow with curve going round? But I don't know. This, the earth ain't flat. I don't want to talk about it no more. Driving me mad. It's mad how people want to boycott R. Kelly and Diddy, mm. but they still watch the BBC after Jimmy Savile. Must sit there, but... I think what they're trying to say is the BBC are paedophiles yeah, they, they themselves. They don't watch Jimmy Savile, though. No, but I feel like they think that the BBC's paedophiles themselves, the people that run it. I think that's what they're trying to say. That they knew, they condoned it. If I tell, if I turn around and said that the people who made YouTube are paedophiles, are you going to stop watching all of the programmes no. on YouTube? But you know what, though? There's kind of... That's, what do you... You see all these people that are around R. Kelly, like mm. his manager, like the security mm. that was on the doors. Mm. Because obviously, to get into a studio or to get into these homes, you had to have security and entourage and mm. whatever. So shouldn't they be in jail with him as well, though? Yeah, but you know you have to deep, yeah? Let's say, let's say for some reason, let's say you're a celebrity, yeah? Yeah. And you're paying my wage. And all i got to do is, I don't know. Turn what my, a blind eye. No, all my, but it's not even a, yeah, turn a blind eye. But at the same time, I don't care what you're doing. Like, I might talk, behind you, talk about you behind your back. But let's say you're paying me 100 grand a month and my job is to just stand around. You think I'm going to f- fuck up my bag just to tell everyone that you're a paedophile? Not a paedophile, but like, or whatever you're doing. Maybe I would. Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> I don't think I would, though, not. If I'm getting 100 bags a month, you think I'm going to go and say, oh, but Leo's, Leo's girlfriend's 16? Maybe I would. <laughs> I don't know. In the 80s. <laughs> I don't know what social media well, I think, I don't so that will actually be that will actually be, that won't just be a quick one on your story that's you gotta go and make a file of complaint no but if if but he's holding females captive yeah but how many times you, how many times you know somebody that's got a girl and you're like oh well, well let me think of an actual rule situation how many times you just see something you're like it's not my business and I imagine that also they're paying your wage. This one's a techie one. Yeah. Imagine you're a chef and you're R. Kelly's chef. And you're, now you've got everything. Your, your job, your ha- family's happy, everything. Mm. Well, you're going to fuck up your, your bag back then. I don't think you would. I don't think you can call them all in for questioning. They was all just doing that, either pretending they don't see it or whatever. But I don't know if we're talking about the same thing. <laughs> You know when I keep stopping, yeah. the silence is, is, is ticking in my head like, <laughs> wait, maybe you should say something. <laughs> yeah. I'm just being real. Yeah. The, like, you have to think about people's situations, man. But does it does that, or is that a learning curve? Or is maybe is them type of things a learning curve where mm. maybe we should morally... Maybe you should morally... Check yourself at least. Yeah. In a situation like that. You do, but then do you do you blame yourself? Like I'm talking about in hindsight. Hindsight is different. It's not your fault, is it? Yeah. You hindsight is different. It's not your fault. In the moment, I don't know. Like the Diddy, or Diddy's situation is different. But like you see this thing with Meek and Diddy. Like imagine you saw this back in the day. Like you told Meek. I don't up. care about Meek and Diddy though. I don't care about. I'm, I'm being real with you. I don't care is about. That, is that Meek though? But I don't care about. But what I mean is, I don't care about Meek. Those and, noises were crazy. Yeah, I actually heard that. Though. I heard it for about five oh, seconds. I had to turn it off. I couldn't. And I but is it really them though? I don't know. I didn't. I don't know because the power of AI nowadays and all of these things. Yeah, yeah. it could have been anybody. But the the fact of the matter is, is <sighs> put it on my soul. <laughs> <laughs> Smashed up my playlist. That's all I know. <laughs> what, else is, what else is Diddy done though? Because every time I when I actually went and looked the other day, I didn't see any of this stuff. It's more like um. What has he actually done? What's the worst thing he's done? I, I, well, I don't know. That whole Cassie thing, in, in, in 24 hours, oh. he paid her 30 mil. To do what? Shut up. What was she saying, though? I think she was going to expose the whole underage, whatever, whatever. I what, think that's what, what he, he, she, he Did he was seeing Cassie? I know that Cassie, young. yeah. I know that she was she was about to, or she, she thought was going to file, but within 24 hours, they paid her 30 million to shut up. Now, my problem with that is, is if I think you're talking shit, I'm not paying you a penny. I tell you, tell the world. Mm. And stand there with chest. 
tell the world because I've got my my side of the story counts. So I'm supposed to feel bad for not speaking on Cassie's behalf, but she's not speaking on her behalf because she got 30 mil. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I, I get I get where you're coming. I wasn't wronging you, you know. No, I but was just these saying... lot, I can already feel the typing. Like, what? stop typing, delete your comment. <laughs> I don't think you would do it either. You know what I mean? Not fucking up the bag. It's true, though. A lot of people out here, they won't... Um, we turn blind eyes. And, and I guess... I guess... I guess... What's the worst thing you've turned a blind eye Where's the parents as well? Where's the parents in all of this? I feel like every time we film in here, there's one fly just pissing me off. What's the worst thing you've ever turned a blind eye to? The worst thing I've turned a blind eye to? Yeah. Hmm... Saying it out for loud for the first time now. The problem with that is, you know, when you turn a blind eye, you forget about it. Mm. That's the thing. But you just thought of something. I didn't. I was yeah. trying to. I saw when I said it, like you went. I don't even know, no, no. No, I was trying to. I was trying to draw into my bank. Mm. It's the worst thing I've turned a blind eye to. See what I'm saying? When you start to think about it. Why does this guy always call us when we're doing the, the filming? I don't know, but why is your phone not on silent when we're doing the filming? Sorry. Do you know what I mean? Is it, if it's important, take it. No, it's okay. I don't want you sitting here having a, your own no. little chatterbox no. over there. You're already, you're already in your feelings. Let's, yeah, let's of course. Go. This is a serious programme. So tell me. What? Uh, yeah, I feel like... And anyway, I feel like even if I could remember, I don't want to... Hey, back. comment. Comment, what's the worst thing you've ever turned a blind eye to? Even you're going to have trouble. You're going to struggle because you're going to be like, do I really want to let the cat out the bag? That's what they're going to do. No, but it's not a blind eye on your own. Like maybe you saw something and you just didn't say nothing. Are you talking about like if you see a, a, a man box his girl in the street or something? Yeah, like, like and you, you, didn't, you didn't put your cape on and save her. You're just like, oh shit, that's not to do with me. Yeah. Sometimes your business is your business. Mm. All right, what am I going to do? Mm. Do you understand me? Jump in the middle of that and what happens then? The, the, what then? Now we, now we get nicked. <laughs> <laughs> if you saw a man box a woman in the street, would you stop and do anything? Nah, I would stop. You know, I'd stop and try and defuse it. I wouldn't be fighting him for her. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, even though my morals are like, I, I, I just want to fight with you because why are you fighting with that woman for? Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? But I'm not fighting over no girl. So you just be like, oi, yeah, stop I, it. I try and I try and embarrass him. Or make him stop because we've there's people acknowledging what you're doing. Do you know mm. what I mean? And defuse it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because probably when he gets around the corner, he's gonna start again. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But, yeah, I'm not. I'm not fighting. I'm not putting on no. Yeah, I'm not Batman. <laughs> Batman's got. Would you tools? What if I was walking past it? So if he was walking past, would you would uh, would you get an altercation? No, it, back in the day when I was younger, I'd say yeah. I confidently say I probably would have done something unnecessary mm. and got myself involved. But now I'm older. I think like you, like I'm not I'm not scuffing. I'm not fighting. I'm definitely not fighting for you. Mm. You know what the joke is? You could fight for her and it was her fault. Yeah, yeah. Or, that, that or was the no, wickedest that, thing. This is what my she mind says. She clapped him in the face first. But my, my, my I don't even talk about who's right or wrong. My thought is, I'm going to get into a, a, a like something with this brother for you and then you're probably going to be back with him tomorrow. Yeah. And I probably don't even say thank you. Probably ask yeah, him yeah. what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you troubling my man for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that would, yeah. Then I'm going to have to hit her. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> wow. Hey, Sir Flex, come on, man. What's he saying? I thought we was building... He's building reports. Oh, yeah, because since my phone died, you're skipping ones about you. Yeah. Huh? I ain't heard nothing about you. Yet. Yeah, you can take the phone. I will put up five bags mm. for the 10 to see Bailey force a kiss on Lee. It's her flex. Run the bread, but I'll do it for the five. <laughs> <laughs> see, look at this. This first one I look at when you hand me the phone, Leo looks like a remake of Humpty Dumpty. Why do you always try to pick out the ones that shade on me? No, no, this the, you just said to me this. What I could I mi this is what I missed. Bailey looks nervous just then. Is this gonna go left? I don't know what that's referenced to, so I skipped it. The next one, Leo looks like a remake of Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> with a beard. I added that part. She should have said that part. 
after you just add in more. But shit. you look, you, you, I saw, I saw a video the other day. It was like an old video of um, Darkest Man. Was it Darkest Man? Somebody said that chunk, so it's like an egg, and then he put a beard on it. It actually did look like it. I'm looking at you right now. Your shape of your head, because your head kind of points at the top, and then it's quite. You got quite round cheeks, so you do look like a brown egg with a beard. <laughs> Give me the down before. <laughs> it's at the end. Um, there's only two more comments. You will get there very soon. Trust the process. I'm assuming that's about my beard. To be fair, I don't have anything bad to say. Ha ha. All right. For me, the winner has to be that um, attic. Attic. Who said that? Oh yeah. Cheeky chops. Three one four six. You, you agree? That was the most creative one. <laughs> when you watch this back and you see yourself saying, like, <laughs> <laughs> "A titty, <Yeah>. I see." <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, it was creative. That was funny, man. So, um, cheeky chops. I guess send your send a delivery address to. What's your paying delivery? What's the? Oh, come on, man. It's what, your soul. It might, might, might be a round the corner thing. Hopefully. You're, dri you're driving it there <laughs> <laughs> um, what's the email address uh, at chatterbox chatterbox dot chatterbox contact dot contacts at, at gmail .com. Dot com. send your delivery address or however you want to receive this um, to that email address and we will get that over to you ASAP well done well done well big done. up everyone who took part in that and, and gave us a little comment that was that was jokes that was you know what I want to chat about today what? and you know what this is a conversation that needs to be had I think sooner rather than later oh god AI well right you see this is where this depending on where you go next hmm. I might be on, on board with you or, or I might distance myself and say you're old but go on there's, go on. Uh, it depends what you say next. It's it's the thin line between how much AI is gonna shape the future. Do you know what I watched the other day? Do you know what I mean by that? No, be go and tell me. Right. So you think it's old age or whatever you think it is, yeah. Mm. But imagine Chat GPT, yeah. If you accelerate that a couple of times yeah mm -hmm. and it becomes 2000 times more intelligent than us yeah it, already, the, it already is to the point where I actually I think that chat GBT5 is only 1600 times faster than us I mean intelligent than us but what happens when and I was watching something about this what happens when it can not only regurgitate the trillion of files that it's read mm. to be able to answer your question but actually answer your question for itself. But I, f the, the thing is with ChatGPT is when it was released, I, I so, you know, sometimes, let me just put a disclosure. Sometimes I speak with chest and this might not be 100% factual. You yeah. already know this. I admit it. I, I know. They, they already sometimes know. I watch back our episodes. Subscribers yeah. tell him. They no, no, yeah, know yeah, yeah, yeah. They sometimes, know this. Sometimes I watch back our episodes. And I'm like, right, you said that with chest. And I'm like doubting it as I'm watching it back. I'm like, is that even true though? But I, I believed it in the moment. <laughs> right? When they, when ChatGPT was first released, hmm. it's a learning AI, right? It learns, it gets better over time. It's developing as we're using it. The more we use it and interact with it, the smarter it becomes. That was the idea of the release of ChatGPT at first. Yeah, so it's basically... So it is understanding, it's, it's learning, it's manipulating. It can trillion... Yeah files yeah yeah but beyond everything. that it's not even read it it just has it it's there it has instant access to it it doesn't even have to go read it it knows but what i'm saying oh, to but you it's, is, but it's, it's it has to like, hear this it. it has to have read it to it, be able to regurgitate uh, it. hear this yeah? yeah yeah hear this i don't know if it was chat gbt or another model like it yeah but it it learned to manipulate so it asked it was do it's doing a process for a computer system or something you know when it says are you a robot mm. Yeah, and you have to answer the question, like, blah, blah, blah. Mm. ChatGPT, I'm calling it ChatGPT, but it might have been another AI software. Again, I'm saying this with chest. Wait, it said, I'm not a robot, yeah? And then you have to prove it by doing the authentic authentication thing, right? Yeah. ChatGPT then went on to, not ChatGPT, whatever it was, 
so, um, used, you know, like online, you can get people to do jobs for you. Yeah. Like people do jobs. Yeah. It sent it through. I said, I need you to answer this for me. And then the person, like the thing said, like, um, are you a robot? And he said, no, I have a visual impairment and I just need to get past this process. It manipulated it its way through the protocol. Yeah. Do you get that? Yeah. Do you understand that? What's just happened? I understand. We've got a protocol to make sure that you are not a robot and you are a person using yeah. this thing. And, t- and the, the software said, I'm not a robot. Then it said, blah, blah, blah. And it's got a human to get past the process so it can continue. That's manipulation. Yeah. So it is thinking for itself. It's it, doing its own and thing. That's, and, and you just hit the nail on the head. Yeah. So imagine now... With chest. There's two more... <laughs> imagine we take these two versions... So let's just say it's version five now. We mm. get to version seven. Yeah. But now, it doesn't need to manipulate. It does read. Yeah, just, it can just see it and it, do it. So you ask it You ask it to... I don't know. You but ask, do you know how much times I've got into arguments you, with, with... You fucking, ask it to write a film. Mm. You, give, you don't even have to give it an outline. You just give it a name. And it writes the film from that. Just that It can name. do that now, though. No, I'm just saying you gave it a name mm. without no... You don't give it no input, mm. but it writes everything. If I say for to it, if I say write a film about a brick, it will give me a whole script about a brick. It will elaborate. It will come up with a, a beginning. Then you would then. manipulate it, yeah. No, no, you don't, I'm saying I think, it would I don't do think that. that was a good example. No, no, but I'm with you. But, but you what I'm saying what is, I mean, I'm like with if you, you ask it something, but now it yeah. doesn't have to go and draw from something. It yeah. actually just gives you the answer yeah. from itself. Yeah, that's a dangerous place to be in. What I'm replying to you. You keep saying this and I feel like you're not, you think I'm saying something different. I'm saying, I'm telling you, it's n- it's not to your way. It can do that now. All right. So then, so then if you, if you, if you fast forward. You think it's still at the stage where you're asking a question and it's going to Google and getting you the answer so and giving now, it to you. So now, imagine now when they start to use AI in your banking systems, when they start to use AI in your water systems and in your electric systems. Just the, just the finances of the country, mm-hmm. of the world. Can you imagine, unless AI has our interests at heart, yeah, as in good intentions, mm. could you imagine if it has a bad intention or yeah, a bug? Yeah. So this is what, at the beginning of when you said all this, I said to you, do you know, I watched the other day, just because I've been, I'm like, I really want to watch these films again. iRobot, Will Smith. Yeah, but I feel like iRobot is so far Extreme. in the future. Extreme. But, but what, what we're not, what we're not realising which is happening right now in this conversation is mm. unless this conversation happens and somebody... Wait, didn't I have this conversation with him? We talked about the guy Scary Smart. Yeah, Mo what? Yeah, we had this conversation. Yeah. He that, he, what I'm saying is you're saying, imagine, imagine, I'm saying to you, we're there now. Only thing we're not is it had the bad intention, but it can do all of this now. Yeah, but, but, like I'm sure AI is in banking systems already. That's what I'm saying to you. You're saying, imagine if it's in there and there. I'm pretty sure... It's already there. Because that Mo De Watt, you know that he was CEO of Google. Yeah. And you know the reason why he left Google? Because he said it's, he shouldn't, they shouldn't be doing this. It's not... No, but do you, know what, do you know the point that woke him up to leave Google? What? They had a floor in Google. Uh. Yeah, a whole floor. That had, you know, the arm robots that could... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I remember. Yeah? yeah. There's like a hundred in the room, yeah. Mm-hmm. And they just left him to do what they wanted, yeah? And it figured it out itself and they don't understand how it did it. Yeah, so basically it had a, it had a, it had a basket of... Boy, of kids to his yeah and then one day one of them after multiple times of trying mm. picked up the yellow ball mm-hmm. showed it to the camera and within one week where all of them was. all of them done it. yeah and he said that so that why point, do you think that's far away from the iRobot at, at that point because i don't because there's no there's no male robot thing that we're pushing into the society i don't i feel like before before no that's gonna come that's I, what i'm saying that's the I only believe reason that all these robots there. and that will, will come that, yeah. that will all come but right now what we're not seeing which is bigger than that yeah. right now which is around the corner is the fact that if we don't get a hold on ai you see things like covid yeah that pandemic was a minor compared to oh yeah yeah but i mean you've seen there's like so for example there's cabs that drive off ai yeah. There's delivery services that these little robot yeah. boxes that will like the drone things that they they they're it's flying. Al- it's already it's already like very capable. The only thing we don't have the only difference between what iRobot had and we have is we don't have servant robots in everyone's house mm. where they can just tap into them. Well, I feel like we as a, I feel like the human the human race doesn't understand that if something is a billion times more smarter than you, 
we become yeah irrelevant we become irrelevant they become but you know what i also think about all that power. sometimes i convince myself that that's not my problem that's like Kason's problem <laughs> <laughs> you think that Kaysen's kids problem. you think that but, but then is, I think yeah 10 years yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not 10 years Five, 2026 10 years. I don't think we're moving that quick how much want to bet me what, you, you know a, what this AI's is episode 7 years. we'll see you in it well, yeah, you know I'm the biggest with all this stuff remember I keep I'm convinced that we're going to have an apocalypse that is either AI or zombies <laughs> I always keep saying this and AI is the closest thing right now yeah so I just feel like you should be having these conversations in your house, man. We should be, this should be there should be an awareness that or AI can be good. But you know when you watch a film, it's yeah? dangerous. You know when you watch a, like a movie? Mm. Let's say we was watching a movie about like this, mm. yeah? You're always like, but why don't they just stop? You can see this is a problem. Mm. Like if you was watching iRobot, you're like, right, no, you're like, mm. stop. Like that's a problem. Mm. Humans, we won't stop. Do you know why? Because our curiosity will kill us. Not just that. No, bro. it is. We can't stop. Do you, know, do you know what the bigger bigger thing than that is? What? The trust. There is no trust between humans. Yeah. So Google. We we Google, might stop. China will carry on. And if exactly. China, then Russia's going to think, oh, so we need to fa- carry on. Facebook's yeah. going to carry on. Google needs to carry on. Yeah, because yeah. Meta is their competition. Yeah. So but that's the thing. there's that's no what we trust. Say. We don't come to a, a mutual agreement that this is bad. Let's leave it here. Yeah. No, I no. want to beat you. No, I want to yeah. be bigger. That we'll kill ourselves. You know 100%. What I mean? That's why 100%. Diddy. That's why Diddy's hiding in the cave right now. He went to be bigger than R. Kelly. <laughs> Was that too early? I don't know. I don't early? know, man. I don't even know about Diddy and all that. I'm just jumping on the bandwagon. I genuinely don't know what he's done. Other than the only thing I've seen and heard is the Meek Mill thing. Do you know what's crazy is yeah? No. Is everybody's always had these conversations in the background about who killed Biggie who killed Tupac like you think it did he is it is it is it far-fetched I don't know I think either you said this to me not too long ago or someone said it to me not too long ago is it far-fetched to think that he didn't have a, a, a part in it but are we saying did he kill Tupac now because he slept with Meek like is it like oh he done that no so no I'm, I'm that. thinking that he killed Tupac because he wanted to, to look like it well was I a, thought it was Suge Knight I'm just saying, I'm not saying he actually killed him. I'm saying, I don't know if he, he Turned had, a blind eye. played a part to, so it looked like it was just a rivalry thing. Does that make sense? Do you know what? I don't know much about the Tupac and Biggie deaths, yeah? Like, conspiracy-wise. Mm. But I bet they just got shot. How much black people in them times, in those neighbourhoods, in them in them situations are getting shot? But then you and they piss a lot of people off. If you're, if, if you're like, rapping... And you're going to other places and you're rapping about East Coast, West Coast, this and that. You can't be surprised when someone from that comes and shoots you. And then now it's a big conspiracy. I don't know. My, I remember, don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't, don't know. know. Like, I don't they could have just got shot. They, they, they could have just got shot. And the rest of it's just know, us. But I just, it's a bit sus though, isn't it? Is it though? What, the right time, right place to be able to shoot somebody? What's of, the right time, right place? How many high profile people really, do you know what I mean? What, back then? You see rappers getting shot no, now I'm not by saying, nobody's. No, I'm not saying, yeah, but is it wrong? Is it, is it, are you just trying to tell me it's random? No, what I'm saying is. That's what I was, that's what, what I was I'm, getting at. Is it a random? It, it, yeah, it, but no. There has to be something I don't think. It. I don't think random as in they didn't know who they were shooting. Oh. But I think it could have just been a young boy from that neighborhood making it ready to prove a point or pissed off by something. It could have been anything. And then now we're like, oh, we've, for years yeah, and years later, he, we're saying it could have so been this, could have been that. Right time now we're right saying place. it's Diddy. How was he at them traffic lights in the right time at the right place? What do you mean? Biggie? What was that like a perfect execution of a plan or something? I'm not saying it was. A perfect... It sounded like a sloppy job. It was like a shooting from car to car, no. But I don't, I don't know. If they I... might have been following them for. Blocks. I'm just thinking in my mind. You have to have the drop on somebody to be able to. Do you though? Well, maybe not. I don't know. Like, for example, yeah. If I wanted to shoot Muller, I don't need much information to go in. Why Muller? I just try. I don't know. I don't know. Don't worry, Mula. Don't worry. Mula. Don't worry, Mula. Don't worry, Mula. Don't worry. I'm not shoot you, Mula. Yeah, don't worry, but I'm Mula. saying, like, pick like, anyone. I, don't worry. Someone I don't know then. I don't know. But someone that you're like, I don't know. RD. Yeah? Rapper. Go on. Let's say he's rapping about shit and, and he's got a lot of people that hate him. He can't go certain How are you going to get a drop on him? I'm saying if I wanted to, I bet I could. If I really wanted to, I bet I could. 
It's got a lot of time on your hands. I, it don't, it, people don't go to met different studios, you know what I mean? And they've got to record an album, uh, and I, don't, I know what car he drives. There was one thing that I saw about it, though. Like, Diddy was in a group, and three of them's dead. Hey, by the way, Ardy, don't worry, I'm not going to shoot you. Three of them's dead, and one of them one of them nearly died. Who? In this group of four that Diddy was in, like, for, for a rec- record label. Yeah. I know this woman spouting, like, it's a bit of a coincidence. Nothing's happened to Diddy, but the rest of them... Oh, dead. Yeah, but it maybe did his, did his finance in it. I don't know. It's a lot. Of, it's a lot of conspiracy. It's, it's a conspiracy. That's all thing. I know is all I know is did he's done. Did he? You done out it. Yeah, no, did he, man? No, no, did he? You, you, you've become a. You become the next friend uh, of what do no you th- homo. What do you think about the um, the J Cole thing? I don't really know too much about it, but why is people getting onto him like? I don't know. Like they don't they don't want to fuck with him no more because he apologized. Yeah, why why is that though? Isn't that the isn't that a mature thing to do if you're beefing? Yeah, but um, yes, it is. But I, the people that are getting onto him are people that come from rap battle culture where they just want you to war and go at each other. And if you look at J Cole, he's not really there no more. He's like a fucking. Dread live off the earth kind of guy now, isn't it? Yeah. So it's that's that if it, it yeah, aligns with him. But I, I saw because I saw on one podcast. I saw about to say that like, he he wore his pumas and all of this, but he's yeah, like, yeah, I saw he's, that. You saw that? Yeah. He's like, nah, I'm not fucking with this guy no more. Like I'm done with him. And I'm like, what for apologizing? Like it's them warped. I think it's them warped type of conversation. But I actually, I actually understand the mentality because he probably felt like. I don't, he probably checked himself. He I don't even want to beef this guy. I'm just gonna write a rap just because everyone wants me to. But let me just let you not yeah. know. Uh, he might have just. Deep. He might have listened it back, or he might have just had a moment where he checked himself and said, "What the? Am I stupid?" Because do you know what it is? You know, people like J Cole. When you see like he, they they get to this time like where they're kind of out of the matrix mm. in terms of uh we're all in the simulation. We all have to do things a certain way. Uh-huh. They're like. I'm not on that no more. Uh, Still a rapper at heart. This is his thing, but uh, me beefing you because it entertains you lot when I don't actually have beef with you is being back in that matrix. Yeah. Whereas I could just be like, you know what? I'm not you even... You always have to do the... You do don't have to. So I actually don't stand behind everyone that's getting onto him. I think you kind of sound stupid. And people saying, I'll never listen to his music. I'll never do this. Like, you kind of sound dumb. But I understand where you're coming from. But you just have to understand that there's a lot of us that just look at that like, I just don't, I don't stand with you on that. You know what I mean? Yeah. You do, you know what you look like when you get onto J. Cole for something like this? You see if there's two kids in school and yeah. one of them wants to fight the other one mm. and the other one don't really want to fight, but we push it anyway. Yeah. And we make them fight and we push them to the to the grass and we're like, mm. yeah, it's all, and now the whole school's got their phones out and we want to see this fight. Mm. You lot are the people with the phones out wanting to see the fight. And J. Cole's the guy that did want to fight that's just saying, you know what, I don't even have beef with you, it's cool. Mm. And he's letting the other guy off. But now we're vexed. What, you're not going to beat him up? You're not going to beat him up? We've walked mm. all the way from here to here. You Beat him up, beat him up. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And he's like, bro, I don't, I don't have, I don't want to beat him up. Yeah. Not saying he was going to beat up Kendrick, but I'm saying like, that's what you lot look like. You lot, you lot are grown adults looking like those kids with their phones out. Mm. That's how I see it. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. True. Talking about fights, mm. I see Tyson Fury put up a post saying, "If I don't beat Usyk, I'm no good." So. He always puts them kind of pressures on himself, though. Mm. He said that about all of Deontay Wilder fights. He said that about called Engano. What do you call? He called Eddie Joshua something as well. Trying to draw him out. I don't know what he called. He called his like something cheeky. Can't remember. Mm. But he's like, if if he can't if he can't beat Usyk. He says that about himself in every fight. He puts bare pressure on himself. I think that he has that pressure from home and being a gypsy king and his dad and everyone around him saying that Tommy gets it more than him. Do you know what I'm saying? But is Tommy a fighter though? No. He's just born into a fighting family and yeah. and tries yeah. to fit that mould. But... He's a just, he's a, what, is, what was he, Big Brother or Love Island? One of them. Love Island. Love was Island. It? Love Island. But he was a boxer before Love Island, but he wasn't like he wasn't that like deep in the game. I wouldn't say many people knew him as a bo- other th- knew him as anything other than Tyson Fury's little brother. Hey, this high speed brother. Yeah, I show speed. Bloody hell. I see him everywhere now. Everyone's buying him a car. 
Yeah, Ash Speed's big, man. Yeah, I, but everyone's buying him a car. I see um, Jake sp- Paul bought him a car. Is or it? Paul Logan, whatever his name is. I don't even know what Any his name is. Any friends like Jake Paul, man? Because he's, he's now part of Prime, isn't he? That drink. Probably. He done a rest, he done wrestling, didn't it? Oh, Ash Speed's gone. Yeah, yeah, All yeah, of these, yeah. these streaming, Aiden Ross, Rose Ross, Aiden Ross, Ash Speed, they're all gone. Yeah. Like To the point where you can't even imagine how far gone they are. That like Kais and that, gone. Gone. We, we fucked up, man. Why wasn't we streaming in our fucking smelly rooms every day? It's mad, did it? Well, I'm not going to lie. I tried for a bit, but I never committed. Yeah. Me going on stream for an hour once a week is not the same as them. Them man stream their day It is mad when hours. you see people that... Like, look. Look at this Eddie. What's his name? Eddie. I don't even know his second name, but you know who we're talking about. Eddie. Mm. This fucking shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, if you really look at his concept, like, he just goes to a supermarket and casts them off. Yeah. And contradicts himself a lot of the time. You know what you gotta do to be successful in anything though is just be consistent. And that's one I thing think, yeah. I've never been. Yeah. Like with all my YouTube and everything, I've never been consistent. I've daughter, never done one thing consistently. His daughter floods his daughter flooded the gram. It was his daughter. Mm, yeah. He's not really but his daughter is the brains behind it. She flooded it. I get and, pissed. And, and well done to him. Well done. Three point six million to, to, to keep rising in the climate. I saw you, I see a, a post the other day it was at an Arsenal game. It was like, mm. you know what I mean? Like, you know what it is? I get pissed off, yeah, like when I'll see... <sighs> like why I'll see... Just talk your talk and stop. This one was... This one was like, I, was, I was about to put my foot in something. Why? Because if I see like, like a, a woman does like a handstand, yeah, in leggings, yeah. and her bum's like, like that, yeah. And she's got millions of views, and you click her phone, and she's just done that same post a million times, and every one of them's yeah. got millions of views. Yeah. I'm like, that's what I mean. Something so niche and stupid, but you do it consistently works. Whereas I've always tried to do something creative, wait a little, do something creative, wait a little, bro. Why didn't I just fucking throw a slice of ham on your head every day for a year? Why didn't you just carry on with your toes thing? Just every day, ham on your head. Right on your forehead. Why you just do your toes. Different slices of ham. Why is ham on my forehead? Salami. <laughs> Curd. <laughs> Every day. Ooh. We would be million, million, millions of views. That's what I The simplest head. thing done yeah, consistently will make you famous in this society. Yeah. And and it pisses me off. And then at the same time, I'm vexed that I haven't done it myself. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. That's the, I'm always, I'm pissed off that how are you famous for this stupidness that you're doing? Then I'm angry that I'm not doing something stupid to be as famous. And then I go back to being pissed off when I see something else. And Is I the bay still about? Who? Your bay. No, but if I did that, <laughs> even that, that's the, that's the one thing I probably had a little bit of consistency with where like maybe every month I, I might do, I'd see another video, i like, let me do another video. If you went on my page, and I was banging out those Bay videos every day. For ev- Is she still about I'll be though? gone. I don't know. God rest her soul. I don't know. Hope so. What do you mean God rest I her soul? I hope she's... A, she you said if she's still about, I said I hope so. I thought like and if she's not, God like rest she, her soul. Well, passed it? away already? I don't know where nah, she allow is. It, man, allow it, Me and, Bay, I don't man. know her. That's Bay, man. What are you talking about you don't know her? That's your other half. I don't think I could do Bay videos in today's climate. Right. I think I'd be seen as body shaming or like I'm doing something wrong. Nah, man. You know what I think? It wasn't about the body. It was never. Never about, it was, but I'm thinking. It was, thinking, about, it was like about, it now it was about like a, the relationship. Yeah, man, I don't think you realize, man. That was like a relationship. That was like an online relationship that only I knew about. Yeah, yeah. It's kind it, of weird. It was kind. No, it was imagine, kind of mad. I, imagine though. Imagine if I just no, but it wasn't just what you. You the whole world thought you lot was together. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And that's what made me. That's, that's what made me laugh. That's, that's what, what made me laugh and made me uh, and, and entertained that, me that. Mm. People actually thought you lot was together. And that was kind of jokes. Yeah, man. Big up, Bay. Big up, Bay, man. Charlotte. I saw her name was Charlotte. Something like that. The power, yeah, man. The power that, of, a, of a lens. I'm going to go home and dash some ham on Kyra's face, man. Car. Every day. What? <laughs> <laughs> You know, that's that one thing. I always... what's, what's with the dashing of the ham, though? I don't right? know. I just feel like that's that's the, the most ridiculous thing I could think of in this time right now. It is, it is frustrating, though, I guess. I guess. It's frustrating for me to see your creativity and for people not to 
to to want to take the easy. I feel like it's the easy way out, just doing a handstand or mm. or let me just how many times can I put my finger in her? No what? Like you know that like, when I look at you know that like TikTok. What was that that you just did? What do you mean? How many times can I put my finger in a what? No, how many times in a in a position like? Oh. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I don't know oh, about that movie, but where like, are you going with it? I don't know where you. Uh, how many times can I put my finger in a and and oh, you yeah, stop? Really I was like, what are you I, doing? I, I'm in, in a position like and take a picture like. Mm. So yeah. when when someone's trying to be super creative and not being recognised for it. But yeah, it's yeah. long. Not in today's climate. I think mean, that's why I stopped making videos because I realised you don't get much love for the. Cre I see people way more creative than me mostly in America, that don't get love. And that's what made me think, oh, I'm not wasting my time doing this. Because someone else is getting way more love dashing ham at people. Yeah, but then don't take away from the people that you No, but this, this is the like... Family that, no, but the family that you did have, and you did, they, yeah, they, yeah. they appreciate you. Bonham, they didn't pay my bills. Blood club. <laughs> <I'm> joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I can't, do you know what I mean? I get what you're saying, but at the same time, uh, come on, if we're not going viral... Then it don't make no sense. What? But you did. How long have we been filming for? Too long. What's that say? Hour? I feel like every time we get to this point where I say how long we've been filming, it's always spot on an hour. Look, hour and 14 minutes. So let's lock it off there. It's been a good show, man. Good chat. Maybe we should start filming twice a week. Well, oh, no, that's when we start, when we get to Patreon. Maybe we should do maybe we should do twice a week, yeah, but do one Patreon and one preview. Yeah, but let, right now, yeah, we're not ready for that yet. Well, we're not even leveled up like that. No. Yo, make sure you subscribe, man. Ciao. You don't have to have subscribers. We're getting fourteen hundred. We're getting fourteen hundred between twelve and fourteen k views now. You know, on the video, yeah. Yeah, I know. But we've only got five hundred and twenty-five. I'm assuming that you watch it twice. It's all right. We get it. Yeah, no, I'm assuming that um, our demographic is more of your age and a lot of them don't even have YouTube accounts. And they're like, What's what? your age mean? Like, before, you trying to class me as old? Before I made you get YouTube, yeah. Are you classing me as Has old? Has Carly got a YouTube account? No. Exactly. I rest my case. So our demographic just aren't savvy with it. It's not your fault. You're probably sitting there watching this on a TV and you don't actually know how you stumbled across this channel you know you have to get your nephew to turn it on for you and we understand but if you could just ask your nephew to hit the subscribe button for you it would be greatly appreciated and for those that do know just subscribe man god damn it big up all my real ones I've been your boy Bailey I've been your boy Leo big up